Ever noticed how airplanes all look kind of the same? Long tube, flat wings, and a tail in the back. It's not just design, it's survival science. Let's talk about the weird shape that stops planes from ripping apart mid-air. At 35,000 feet, the air outside is thin and cold. Inside the plane, pressurized and cozy. So why the tube? A cylindrical fuselage evenly distributes that pressure. If the cabin were square or flat, air pressure would stress the corners, leading to cracks or worse, catastrophic failure. The tube keeps passengers safe and stress evenly spread. Wings aren't flat slabs, they're airfoils, curved to shape the air. Air moves faster over the top and slower underneath, creating lift. The force that keeps the plane flying. No lift, no flight. It's that simple. Birds flap. Rockets thrust straight up. But airplanes need to glide, lift, and cruise through air efficiently. Their shape reduces drag, increases fuel efficiency, and supports safe pressurization. Think of it as the perfect blend of physics and practicality. Engineers tested all sorts of shapes, square planes, delta wings, even flying saucers. But again and again, one design worked best. Tube body, airfoil wings, tail for balance. So why are planes tubes with wings? To withstand pressure, to generate lift, to cut through the air smoothly. It's not about style, it's survival and science at 500 miles per hour. Next time you fly, just remember, that flying tube is a masterpiece of physics, keeping you safe, balanced, and airborne. If you found anything new, hit like, share, and subscribe for upcoming videos.